What? What is that noise? Oh, okay. I'll go. Yeah, that'd be a nice little move to make today. That's what I just did. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's more extreme and it uh well it's smaller and more technical. But if you wanted to practice, you know, the boat angles and stuff to come back to when it's bigger and pushier, you know, now it's be dead. Cool. Uh, yeah, good. Off the camera. Great coaching. Yeah. He was going down, it was like 10 foot. Rode through, uh, what is it, 100 yard dash? Yeah, right there, yeah. And uh, got through it, and it sucked him back in, flooded his boat, and the only way he was able to get out of it was to surf. 100 yard dash is way too wide of that. Yeah, but- uh, Unless he cut out, he, well, everything's underwater at that point, so he probably cut off halfway early, you know, going more towards Whitehorse. Uh, because, yeah, Collar's hole is right next to Whitehorse. He probably, yeah, yeah. he somehow probably with the high current like that. This is my second year. Oh. So for the last two years, yeah. it has been the second lowest on record. And then we've got this year. So oh. I have never actually been able to, other than in the preseason when I did it once, April. serve Kogler's hole. Oh, okay. Or the route that runs over Kogler's hole yeah. doesn't even run right now. Right, right. You know, so I... Yeah, I've seen it, haven't played in it. Nothing. It's fun. I yeah. I went over a few times when I was first starting out at low water because you have a double drop on there. Yeah, and yeah, um, yeah. you know it helped me a lot when I was still training for Whitehorse. You know, and then hundred yard dash was pretty easy at that level. But um, yeah, last April was it was we had a lot of water in April down here. Yeah, um, like that was some good eight Early feet. The season was like six foot. Before. Yeah. Good did did you get out at all? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. oh cool. Yeah. No, I'm full-time raft guy. Nice, man. Very cool. Now, yeah, we, I uh, did 100-yard dash the other winter, 
and we put on uh we're aiming for an evening paddle and to get off with like just maybe 10 minutes of good daylight so i could get home but so. we put on a little bit later and it's a little bit more overcast than what i thought and we're going slower than what i thought and the river is much higher yeah. and we thought it probably would have been about six feet maybe slightly less and at that level i still know the entrance to 100 yard dash mm -hmm. well but uh it was higher and when i got up to it the rock on the left had a horizon line to it but to the right of it there's the big wave train so i thought that wave train was just the water hitting the rocks to the right of it and then when i got up you know so i was aiming for the horizon line i got there and it's like oh massive hydraulic so as i'm going down it sideways i give a good hard stroke to the right and right uh yeah you know, at where i was supposed to be you know in between that main wave train and the hydraulic was like a reactionary eddy wall wave at the edge of the hydraulic and i had to hit that so dead on and so i was coming down sideways i drove myself forward so i was kind of like rotating and drive myself into it and, uh it's like phew, yeah that was close i did it fine yeah but um uh yeah you just uh i just wouldn't have liked to have been in that hydraulic understandable yeah I, uh it was probably eight feet or something yeah the uh so real quick Kogler's hole because i've never seen Kogler's hole actually the run over top of it okay it's the Kogler's hole is the whole rapid including the surf yeah I, yeah I well just, well it depends who you talk to because that's yeah that's the thing i mean that wave uh, at, I don't know of any other course, name because I said 100 yard dash, but that you're right, that's over to the right of it. Yeah, 100 yard dash is a little farther right. It's mm -hmm. it's basically like probably maybe 20 feet at most from Whitehorse going yeah, towards gosh. the center. Um, and you can see it because that from Whitehorse and the Bass Rock is one river wide ledge, and it's the remainder of the first part of the Potomac Water Gap between Blue Ridge Mountain. You know, we're going through there, and the second one's down there at Weaverton. But, anyways, you can see Whitehorse is like the most intense, like the most gradients right there. Mm -hmm. And then as you go, that Collar's Hole is a little less, um, and then less with 100 yard dash because um, it slants down a little bit. But as the waves, as the water picks up, 100 yard dash actually picks up to where it can be higher than Whitehorse at like huge water. White Horse runs into a giant haystack, and it's really tough, but like uh, 100 yard dash is huge. Like, the bigger it gets, the more fun it gets. And Bass Rock is, you know, just like that plunge. Mm -hmm. But it's really one long ledge, and that's what's so cool. That's why it's all like. Ride it mm -hmm. yeah. And you can see it coming on the Sandy Hill Bridge. It's really just like a big line right there. That's but awesome. but Cogger's Hole, you'll see a lot of the rafts I've seen, they, as they surf there. Like, you see them, mm -hmm. they pull up right there close to White Horse, and they dip the front down. The kids start having a good time, laughing and stuff, you know, because it, so, it sinks it in, and they just then they push out but yeah like you i ran it real low because it hit both drops that way but then when it's really in play then it really is one continuous kind of you don't feel the second the first kind of drop it's just like a lot of water you get that huge plunge yeah. where it's just recirculating over and over and i, I think cobra souls is called that uh it's at the end of the small little channel to yeah. the right of the rock on the right of white horse at the bottom right and uh it's steep and uh jeff used to just surf in there and i guess he owned oh, it oh he still does oh is that how he got the name i figured it was like a local legend status thing oh you know? no jeff has been around for like 50 you know he's like 60 years old 55 something like that yeah. uh, he still cool. works at river Riders. oh cool yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. probably got his start with mike Moore's early crew in the late oh, 90s so. yeah so that would probably be yeah. like 26 years ago wow that's pretty cool I thought that was some small animal running out behind you. <laughs> I was about to... Oh, man. He almost got it, too. There was uh, yeah, some kind right? of cicada or something.